performance since we acquired King. Throughout 2020, we also continue to invest in building our direct digital relationship with players, including through Battle.net, the entry point for tens of millions of players on PC to access our games each month. Since inception, over 400 million accounts worldwide have been created with multiple forms of payment. Our record results illustrate our opportunity to drive step changes in the reach, engagement, and player investment of our franchises. While our businesses benefited from industry tailwinds in 2020, much of our growth was driven by strong product and commercial execution. We expect our growth initiatives for Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Candy Crush to again drive strong results in 2021. And we believe all of our large franchises will see meaningful user growth, engagement growth, and player investment growth over the next two to three years. We are making significant progress against our development pipeline for our key intellectual properties, which we expect to fuel further growth in 2022 and beyond. We have more new content being created than at any time in our history, and we expect our content-related investment in 2021 to be almost 40% higher than in 2019. As we adapt the Call of Duty model, creating free-to-play entry points across new platforms and geographies, increasing social functionality and frequency of content delivery, as well as improving player investment opportunities, we are very confident we can continue to grow at an accelerated pace. Now let's review our Q4 and full year operational highlights, and then we will provide more insight into our future plans. At Activision, 2020 was an extraordinary year for reach, engagement, and player investment in our Call of Duty franchise. Life-to-date consumer spending of around $27 billion makes it one of the most successful entertainment franchises of all time. Yet the franchise delivered a structural change in 2020 with net bookings approximately doubling year over year, and we expect further growth this year. Activision's monthly active users were 128 million, marking the fifth consecutive quarter with more than 100 million players driven by Call of Duty. This level of scale for the franchise leads to better gaming experiences for the community, provides more data for us to continue improving our experiences, and creates more opportunities for player investment. Call of Duty momentum continued into the fourth quarter, the biggest quarter of the year, with net bookings growing double digits year over year. The November launch of Black Ops Cold War, the newest premium Call of Duty experience, further expanded the ecosystem across console and PC. Monthly active users, or MAUs, on console and PC grew approximately 70% year over year in the fourth quarter, and time spent in game more than doubled. Our premium business has never been stronger. Full year premium unit sales grew over 40% year over year, with a further strong shift to digital premium downloads. In December, we launched the first season of Black Ops Cold War in-game content and integrated the game with Warzone. This drove strong acceleration in premium sales, with units growing sharply year over year in December and January again demonstrating the power of our free-to-play experience in driving demand for our premium content. And in-game player investment also continues to have momentum. In-game net bookings on console and PC grew more than 50% year over year in the fourth quarter. And the first season of Black Ops and Warzone content that is still underway has seen the highest number of battle passes consumed since we introduced the Investable Season Content Pass in late 2019. Call of Duty Mobile delivered its best quarter yet with strong double-digit growth in net bookings year over year. As we increase developer resources for mobile, the expanded team has continued to enhance gameplay and deliver even more compelling seasonal content for players. This increased capacity on the mobile title is clearly paying off, with monthly payers in the West reaching the highest level yet in Q4 with average spend per payer increasing strongly year over year. And in late December, Call of Duty Mobile also launched in China, bringing the franchise to the largest mobile audience in the world. The game quickly reached the top of the download charts with over 50 million installs to date, 
once again illustrating the global appeal of the franchise and setting the foundation for a meaningful contribution in 2021. The Call of Duty League will kick off its second season next weekend. Fans will get to enjoy even more large-scale competitive play this season as its 12 city-based teams compete in a new tournament-style format in the Black Ops Cold War era. Call of Duty is entering 2021 with the largest player community it has ever had to start a year. And with a compelling pipeline of live operations and seasonal content across PC, console, and mobile, and now mobile momentum in China, our focus will be to continue to expand the reach of our franchise while sustaining deep engagement for existing players. Now turning to Blizzard. Blizzard is committed to improving consistent innovation and content delivery for its dedicated players. World of Warcraft had a very strong year with net bookings growing over 40% year over year to the highest level in nearly a decade. Fourth quarter net bookings for the franchise grew by a double digit percentage year over year, driven by strong sales of the Shadowlands expansion, subscriber growth, and high participation in value added services. World of Warcraft reach expanded year over year for the sixth consecutive quarter, contributing to overall Blizzard miles of 29 million in Q4. The trends for reach and engagement after the launch of Shadowlands are even stronger than the levels we typically see at this stage after an expansion launch. With both the modern and the classic modes continuing to operate at global scale, Blizzard has more opportunity to delight and engage the World of Warcraft community than ever before. Looking forward, the multiple Warcraft teams have an unwavering commitment to innovation and expansion for reach, engagement, and player investment through more new content initiatives across platforms, positioning the franchise for further growth in 2021 and beyond. The Overwatch franchise continues to engage its community with in-game content and to celebrate its players in the Overwatch League, where teams are preparing for the start of the 2021 season in April. And mobile remains a top priority at Blizzard, both to give existing fans new ways to engage and to allow new players to experience its franchises. Diablo Immortal concluded its first stage of regional testing with very positive player feedback, a lot of excitement about the depth and authenticity of this latest Diablo experience and strong engagement metrics. We look forward to getting the game in the hands of more players in further regional testing ahead of a launch planned for later this year. And the Blizzard team is looking forward to channeling the spirit of BlizzCon to engage and celebrate the community once again at BlizzCon Line on February 19th and 20th, where they will share more about the plans for the franchises. At King, the business concluded its best full year performance since the acquisition. In-game net bookings grew by a double digit percentage year over year in the fourth quarter with growth accelerating relative to Q3. Mouths were 240 million in Q4 and payer numbers continued on a positive year over year trajectory following the team's initiatives to broaden the payer base. Within the Candy Crush franchise, players responded particularly positively to new features choosing to invest more deeply in their experience and driving strong growth in in-game spend per player. Candy Crush was once again the top grossing franchise in the US app stores and the combination of a broader payer base and strong execution in live operations means the franchise is entering 2021 with strong momentum. Elsewhere in the King portfolio, Farm Heroes and Bubble Witch again grew quarterly net bookings year over year, driven by strong execution across live operation and seasonal events. King also delivered significant year over year growth in advertising with net bookings in both the direct and partner sale channels growing sharply. For the full year, advertising revenues grew nearly 50% year over year. As the team continues to invest in the direct sales channel, tech infrastructure, and further product innovation, we expect the advertising business to deliver another strong year in 2021. King will add to its portfolio this quarter with the launch of Crash Bandicoot on the run next month. The launch of Crash on mobile is a great example of how we are leveraging our strengths across business units and the global appeal 
of our owned IP. And we look forward to introducing fans to an entirely new crash experience on the mobile platform. 2020 was a fantastic year for the King business in which the team accelerated content delivery for its live franchises, introducing more new features and engaging seasonal content to drive broader and deeper player investment across the network. And this year, King will build on its strong execution as it delivers against a large pipeline of product innovation, including new social and competitive features, positioning the business for ongoing growth in 2021 and beyond. Across the business, Focus and execution on our largest franchises delivered another strong quarter and our most successful year. This performance represents a base from which we intend to build. And as you will hear from Dennis, we expect another strong year in 2021, driven by momentum and ongoing execution across our largest franchises. We are also making clear progress in our other initiatives to expand the scale of the other key franchises in our portfolio which are set to drive further growth next year and beyond. At Blizzard in particular, our teams are hard at work on Diablo 4, Overwatch 2, and multiple mobile titles. We have further bolstered headcount on key franchises, supporting the team's plans to follow these ambitious titles with compelling content that sustains Blizzard's communities over the long term. The pipeline is progressing really well, and we anticipate that 2022 will be a great year for Blizzard. To achieve these plans, we will continue to invest in growing creative talent across our key franchises, funding this through efficiencies as we continue to better leverage the talent, expertise, and scale of our business units. We will also continue to invest in our Battle.net platform and ensure that we are leveraging the direct digital relationship we enjoy with our players to efficiently maximize the reach of our new content. We believe we're only at the beginning of unlocking the full potential of our portfolio and expect another step change in financial performance in 2022 as we execute against our pipeline. Dennis will now share the detailed results of our fourth quarter and specifics for our outlook. Dennis? Thanks, Daniel. Today, I will review our 2020 and Q4 results, as well as our outlook for 2021 and the first quarter. All growth comparisons are year over year, Unless otherwise indicated, I will be referencing non-GAAP figures. Please refer to our earnings release for full GAAP to non-GAAP reconciliations. Our full year results were substantially above our original outlook. This was a record-setting year in which successful growth initiatives for several of our key franchises saw net bookings grow 32% year over year, GAAP revenues increased 25%, operating income grew 70%, and EPS grew 45%, all reaching new highs. For the year, we generated GAAP revenues of $8.1 billion. This includes the net deferral of $333 million. Net bookings were $8.4 billion. We generated GAAP diluted EPS of $2.82 and non-GAAP EPS of $3.21. These figures include net deferrals of $0.26. Over the fourth quarter, GAAP and non-GAAP EPS were ahead of our prior outlook, reflecting business overperformance and a lower tax rate. Now let's look at segment results. For the full year, Activision revenue grew 78%, with Call of Duty revenues approximately doubling. Operating income increased 120%, and operating margin expanded 9 percentage points to 47%. For the quarter, Activision revenue of $1.66 billion grew 16%, driven primarily by Call of Duty and game revenues. Operating income rose 12% to $780 million, with an operating margin of 47%. Blizzard full-year revenue increased 11% and operating income grew 49% with a 9 percentage point expansion in operating margin. Blizzard Q4 revenue of $579 million was slightly lower year over year as growth for World of Warcraft was offset by a decline for other titles and the absence of BlizzCon in the quarter. Operating income was $160 million, lower year over year, driven primarily by increased marketing investment and amortization of development costs behind the launch of Shadowlands. Blizzard's operating margin is 